Hello everyone. So uh, yes, always a little bit of a challenge to uh, keep you awake after lunch. Um, if you allow me, I would like to do, uh, although I almost cannot see uh, you, but do a quick survey in the, in the room here. Can you raise your hand if you are a Dropbox user here? Wow. <laughs> okay, friendly audience, good for me. All right, so um, we've been asked today basically to uh, give a little bit of insight about uh, why we believe uh, uh, what's the importance of uh, creating a, um, a culture of uh, innovative uh, thinking. Uh, and at Dropbox is basically the heart of what we do, and I will walk you through some of the, the key concepts we work uh, as a company. So, um, you know, when it, when it comes to uh, talking about the workplace, there's, there's one buzzword that I cannot stand to hear anymore, is the word productivity. You know, always being more productive and more productive. Uh, are we productive? I'm sure we all are productive. Do we aspire to be productive? Yes, we do. But in this um, digital transformation era that we live at the moment, where we are like completely overloaded from the, the time we wake up in the morning all the way through we go back to bed, receiving all those messages, uh, constant notification, checking emails, trying to squeeze as much as we can in our day-to-day -day calendar, it's basically no, not possible to be more productive. And um, the paradox of technology, all those productivity tools that we, uh, that we, we build to, uh, to make people's life easier, at the end of the day, they create noise, they create distraction, they, uh, they, they, they add complexity to our day-to-day, -day, and they create like this big cognitive overload that put a lot of people at, uh, at difficulties at work. So um, uh, basically, it's, it's killing all the opportunity we have in every, each, each one of us to be more creative and to think more about creativity instead of like, getting the job done. Uh, there's a McKinsey study uh, that has been uh, issued recently that basically states, uh, states that 60% of the time we spend every day is about organizing the job, and only 40% of it is about doing the job. Can you think about that? 60% of your time is basically used to keep you busy, okay? To get, yeah, it's, that's what it is. It's to keep you busy. And the time that really is the useful time that you could, uh, that you could squeeze in your day to think about you know, how you can solve problems and so on is, is very little. So, uh, we believe that there's, there's a great opportunity here, um, and um, when we talk about, uh, when we talk about uh, creativity and creative thinking, we, uh, we mean not only the people who sit in the engineering department or in the marketing department, we talk about problem solving. All the people in companies, every one of you here, whether you're in finance, in, um, in marketing, in sales, whatever uh, department you work, you work for, your job basically, and one of the reasons why you get paid, I guess, is because you can solve problems. And this is what we want to aspire, and we believe that the company of tomorrow is the company we, which uh, will not be the one that focuses only on like, uh, productivity and, and control, but more the one that will be able to enable the team and to create a, a, a positive uh, workplace for the employees so that they can focus on what is important, it's problem solving. So at Dropbox, we, uh, we, we handle this uh, very carefully. This is part of the DNA of the company. And uh, for that, I will walk you through uh, four main pillars, basically, and, and how we consider those things. So the first one, basically, it's, it's about um, investing in the space, I investing in the physical space, but also investing in what we call the psychological space. This is point number one. Uh, point number two is about um, how you empower your team by, uh, through like micromanagement and grit. The third point is about how you can unlock the value of collaboration. And the last point, which is probably the most important one, is about um, how you make time available for your team to be creative. So, uh, what does that mean, investing in the workplace? Um, first of all, the physical workplace. Um, at Dropbox, we consider that depending on, uh, on, on the task you have to perform, there might be places that are more or less adapted to, uh, to what you want to do, especially with the, uh, the younger generation, more and more mobile, especially when you can work from almost everywhere. Uh, you can work either from, from your desk or open space, you have like innovation corners, you have library, you can even walk from the restaurant if this is where you feel good. It's about like making sure that people feel at ease and feel uh, comfortable in the environment so they can uh, produce a job. The second point which is equally important is to create the psychological space. And by psychological we mean uh, there's no possible creativity if you don't feel safe. You need to enable the team, you need to create a culture where basically people have the right to fail, uh, where people will feel that no matter what they try, they will not be judged, 
and, and that the team will welcome every initiative. So this psychological space is very important. There are many studies that can prove that um, your well-being at work and, and if you feel secure in your work environment, it will improve your ability to, to think, to think out of the box, and it will make you even more committed to your, uh, to your company. Um, but um, one need to be careful here because uh, this, these are maybe obvious things and stuff that you already do in your companies. But there is no, uh, this, this type of, of environment will require uh, attentive and careful listening. It will, uh, it will require that you, have, you create an inclusive environment and it will require that the management develop a value that is sometimes under, underestimated, it's kindness. You need to create kindness so that people can really give the best out of uh, what they do every day. So, um, uh, talking about productivity, um, uh, Henry Ford said one day, that actually failure is, uh, is, the best, uh, is the best opportunity to start over, but smarter this time. So really learn from, learn from the mistakes, make sure that uh, uh, people are encouraged to try new things. And as you, may, uh, as you may already all know, some of the greatest inventions came from like mistakes or bad ideas. So uh, just for the anecdote, at Dropbox, uh, some of the team, they create uh, what we call the, uh, the quarterly uh, um, uh, wall, of, wall of, uh, failure awards so uh, basically we encourage people to fail and every uh, every manager or every team is really incentivized to fail and one of the first team who has uh, actually implemented this uh, this award uh, the manager of that team has been the first one to receive this award because he could not create this environment to fail because nobody failed in his team and that was recognized as something uh, not so great in the in dropbox um, hmm, it's, it's falling apart <laughs> So, um, so once, once we understand the importance of creating this, uh, this, uh, this, this security at work and this uh, safe environment for people to create, now we can start to, to tap into how we can unlock um, the, the potential of, of, the, of collaboration and, and creative thinking. So that may sound like, okay, I'm going to unlock, uh, uh, to unlock the, uh, the creative thinking, like, a, like an empty, uh, empty phrase, but in reality that means something that concretely you will invest in building the team. You will invest in making sure that um, you care about questions like uh, what are we talking about, what are we working uh, together, how can we best collaborate together, because your team, will not, your team will not wake up one morning saying, okay, I want to be uh, a creative thinker. You as manager, um, you need to create the environment for that. And at Dropbox, for instance, um, we have implemented a, a document that we call the work with me document. It's basically we encourage people to describe uh, how best uh, they can work with others. So that can, that can be about, okay, I'm more a morning person or an afternoon person. Don't log me uh, meetings before nine o'clock. Um, I always go to the gym between, uh, between three and five. Uh, I don't know, I prefer that you use the Slack, ch Slack channel to connect with me or call me over the phone. You know, so you just describe who you are and you expect the people to take the time to understand who you are and then that creates this kind of like uh, uh, collaborative culture within your team. Um, it's this, 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 um, this collaborative uh, setup also requires that you, uh, you think about the digital uh, creativity space. Uh, at Dropbox, we have developed a, a great product. What I believe is, is really a great product is Dropbox Paper. And Dropbox Paper is basically a, a place where you can collect all the information, where you basically solve one of the uh, topic I, I mentioned earlier, the work about work, all the time you lose trying to organize your work. Paper really helps you to like, um, uh, having in one central place all the documents, all the information that you need to work uh, on, a, on a brainstorming project, for instance. And that really simplifies uh, you uh, the day-to-day, -day, and it basically helps to uh, all the people to collaborate, whether they are part of the team or not, so comment, um, chat online, um, make feedback to the people who need to have that feedback. Um, the other point uh, I would like to discuss as well is that um, uh, all this uh, creating this collaborative environment is not possible if you don't add diversity to your team. So you may say, okay, Dropbox, American company, diversity, that does not apply to the French company all the time. Well, we, we, we consider that uh, not only diversity is important because this is the right thing to do, but more important because there's been decades of, of studies that really prove that the more diversity you bring in your team, the better the outcome is. And uh, encouraging diversity is something that all of us can really do in, uh, in our team. 
whether it's to uh, just like connect with groups that are diverse uh, from you. If you're in the marketing department, maybe go connect with the engineers. So this is something we, we encourage. Um, it can be, of course, on ethnicity, gender, but it can be also building like an internal uh, collaboration network, people who will you know, bring advice to you in terms of how to better uh, grow your career and so on and so forth. So diversity is it's important. And why it's important at the end of the day, we believe that if you can be yourself and feel secure, like just being who you are, you will give the best out of yourself and you will be ultimately much more uh, creative. So those first two, those two, the first two points uh, leads me to the third one, is basically how you empower the team. Um, at Dropbox, basically, we really uh, want to uh, get away from, uh, from micromanagement. Uh, I'm sure that it's not something very popular, popular anyway in your teams, so um, uh, we strongly recommend, especially when you have teams um, spread across the world. My, my own team is spread in five different countries. There would be no way that I can micromanage all that they are doing. So we, we tend to like go one level up, uh, really focus on empowering the people, because first of all, um, uh, you, will, uh, you will encourage them to, uh, to, to take risks, you will encourage them to find the, uh, the solution to the problem. Uh, very often they come to me and ask me for uh, you know, a solution to a problem, and a lot of the time I push back and say, well, I'm sure you will find the solution yourself. And at the end, the, the team grows like this. Uh, of course, this, uh, this type of, of micromanagement and behavior must be part of the, uh, of the culture of the company. And it's uh, clearly not possible to have this, this empowerment culture within the company if you don't develop resilience. So maybe for those who are not super familiar with what resilience is about, it's really uh, this ability to bounce back uh, on, on something that failed, but more important, basically, to keep working hard on it where the others may have um, given up in, in the past. So that makes you, uh, you know, continue to learn from, from your mistake and try to find the solutions. And resilience is, uh, is something that we really uh, encourage at Dropbox. It's one of our uh, uh, five company value that we call m -Ire. So we encourage people to take risk. We encourage people to, uh, um, to uh, go out of their comfort zone because, uh, because they, can be, uh, they can be more into the uh, problems of uh, thinking that we want to have. Um, now this leads me to the, uh, to, the, to the last point, which is um, certainly one of the most important ones. It's about uh, you know, making time for creative thinking. Uh, we would, all of us would like to be like 52 weeks out of 52, uh, being creative thinker, being able to have like, new ideas, think out of the box, but the reality is that our days are way too busy, and it's kind of difficult for that. Uh, at Dropbox, we have, uh, we have uh, institutionalized uh, one very specific week, uh, which is, by the way, about to come. It's in July. For one week, we call it the Act Week. It's the one week where, basically, we encourage not only the engineering team, uh, but everyone in the company to bring up new ideas, to work on projects, to stop their day-to-day, -day and, to, um, and to, uh, to basically bring uh, innovative ideas, so that can be new way of selling, that can be new way of serving customer if you're in the customer support. Uh, obviously, that can be uh, product uh, enhancement. And it's, it has become so important to, uh, to Dropbox that um, you know, year after year, we have 30% of every new innovation, whether this is a new process or a new feature, that is the, the outcome of that, uh, that Acquic project. Um, so you may, you may argue that a lot, of, um, a lot of the companies in the, in the Silicon Valley uh, are doing this kind of Acquic project, but very specifically at Dropbox, it's, it has become the, the one very uh, specific week where everyone in the company is really uh, strongly encouraged. Uh, if you think about another word, but uh, basically you have no other choice than spending that week uh, for, the, for the good uh, of the team, and that also makes you work with people that you would not work uh, in, in, during normal times. So um, during that week, we, uh, we, like to, uh, we like to do uh, what we call the, um, uh, an irrespectful, uh, irrespectful, um, irrelevance to the, uh, to, the, to the impossible. And basically, we try to push the, the boundaries and, and really try to, uh, to, to come with like, incredible ideas. Uh, one of the last ones uh, that was developed in the team, so uh, Dropbox being one of the largest uh, collaboration platform in the world, as you may know, um, one of the engineers at, at, at some point uh, found a way to identify like, a suspicious attempt to connect to Dropbox accounts. So he developed a bot, a little bot that would automatically recognize and send a message to the, uh, to the uh, end user just to double check that uh, he's, he's actually trying to access his account. 
um, and the code the code that uh, that was released during uh, during that project has been made available to the uh, to, uh, to the to the developer uh, to the community of developer of Dropbox, and all of a sudden, 500,000 uh, uh, developers in the world could use that piece of code to include that or to insert that in their own software. So not only we encourage collaboration, but we encourage to feed uh, the ecosystem that uh, that is that Dropbox is is helping to grow. So at the conclusion, um, reaching the end of my uh, of my speaking slot, um, it's it's really on us to draw uh, this, this creative, this creative uh, thinking. And every one of us, in little step day by day, can insert in their team this uh, creative thinking process. Uh, at, at Dropbox, our mission is basically to unleash people's creativity, trying to inspire, to inspire new and modern ways of, of working so that people can give the best of themselves. We passionately believe that uh, we can transform companies by bringing more collaboration, uh, more thinking process, uh, more space for innovating thinking, and that company of the future has a great opportunity, opportunity ahead of us. So, uh, creative thinking, again, begins with each of us, and I hope that uh, some of the work we do at Dropbox is a starting point to inspire you.